With the evolution of endoscopic technologies, UPMC is now at the forefront of developing minimally invasive approaches to the skull base uh, using endoscopic technology to go through natural orifice, uh, orifices such as the nose uh, to access uh, tumors that involve the ventral skull base. The biggest challenge in doing surgery for patients with angiofibromas is the vascularity of the tumor. Uh, when there's excessive bleeding, you can't see structures, there's a greater risk of injury to cranial nerves or major arteries. And so this has been the limiting factor, especially as we uh, start to use endoscopic techniques for the removal of even very large angiofibromas. For tumors that are situated in the Petrus apex behind the carotid artery, we are limited using an endonasal approach. We developed what's called the contralateral transmaxillary approach, in which we use a standard uh, Caldwell Luck approach going through the mouth on the contralateral side. By creating a window there, we now establish a corridor that crosses the back of the nose and reaches the contralateral petrous apex. This puts us in line with the course, the trajectory of the internal carotid artery. So now we can remove tumors from that area safely without the need for further mobilization or manipulation of the carotid artery. One of the workhorses of open cranial based surgery has been the pericranial flap. So we wanted to devise a new way of introducing that flap without the need for a craniotomy. And so we developed a minimally invasive approach called the uh, extracranial pericranial flap. And instead of doing a craniotomy, we create a little window in the bone at the level of the nasion. And now we can introduce this flap through that window below the frontal sinus below the plane of the skull base, and we have a very large vascularized flap that can be used to reconstruct really any size defect. We conducted a clinical trial of uh, a fluorescence endoscope, which allows us to assess the, the uh, vascularity of tumors and flaps and better differentiate tumor tissues from normal tissues. In the future, we will continue to develop new imaging technologies that will allow us to see things that we can't see with the naked eye.